Hey guys, Boston Bruce here. Turn 5.8.9 uh, USA in the KMT. Actually, vice versa, KMT USA. And we're in July of 1938. I actually moved uh, Japan up to 26 for the alignment of Siam, which will happen at the beginning of next turn. I believe everything else is correct. For some reason, I had the USA at 12, but they're at 11. I'm almost positive. So, anyway. Uh, KMT's down to five. Uh, let's get into, uh, here's the tech chat. We're actually going to get the role for tech now, which is great. Mm, so anyway, let's get going. Alrighty. KMT's first. They have six dollars. And they're going to spend four on anti-aircraft artillery. Uh... And save two dollars, I believe. Man, do I want to save two? Not about buying a militia. I'm actually, um, nah, I'm gonna save two. So they'll have uh, seven next turn, I believe. But it's not gonna have any combat move, I thought of some. Uh, the CCP is just gonna have to fend for themselves. Uh, probably shouldn't attack me early in the game. Not a good idea. All right, so let's get into it. Now I'll do a disposition, which is probably going to be a mess. So I should get some kind of marker to put this task card. I'm going to use one of the USA ones here for now, just to get it going. There's a course, as usual, Yunnan is going to be the uh, place of uh, safety for the uh, KMT. So already in Yunnan, well, let's do the uh, non-combats. I got a cavalry in Tibet. He's going to move one into Sing Kang, two into Yunnan. So I'm going to grab that guy first. I'm going to put him on the cot. I also have a cavalry in Shanghai. He's going to do the same thing. He's going to move into Sing Kang and then into Yunnan. Because he can go two in the mountains. The mountain infantry from Tibet, Tibet will move into Sing Kang. Uh, there's already two AA guns in Yunnan, so I'm just going to get them out of the way. Put them on the cot. There's a mountain infantry. There's actually three mountain infantry in Kuichau. They're going to move back one space into Yunnan. So we're going to need three mountain infantry in Yunnan. Please don't drop these on the board. All right, nice. Uh... There's also two cavalry in uh, Kuichau. They're going to move over to Yunnan. There are two infantry in Sing Kang. I'm thinking about that. Hold on. Yeah. They're going to move up into Shanghai. One infantry from Shanghai will move into uh, Sang Kang. Two infantry from Sang Kang will move down into Yunnan. Four infantry from Kuichau will move into Yunnan. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take the river from Hunan into Yunnan, a strategic move. They can do one. I believe. Oh, here we go. I almost forgot these bad boys. Four, two infantry from Hong Kong will move into Yunnan. I believe that's it. So, let's do a quick disposition of forces for the KMT. They have one militia in Hunan, two militia in Kuichau, uh, two infantry, two militia in Shanghai, a mountain of militia in an infantry in Sang Si Kang, 
Uh, Kwang Tong has four militia. Kui Chao, two militia. Yunnan, four militia. Let's check out the cat. Two AA guns. Well, actually, let me do my place units. So they're going to just place their uh, anti-aircraft gun in Yunnan and collect their money. So they got three mountain, uh, three AAs, one, two, three, four cavalries, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven regular infantry, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. So eleven infantry, three mountain, three anti aircraft, four cavalry, and four militia. We'll see if we can survive. Hopefully the uh, CCP, they can probably head out to Shanxi, and if they don't get wiped out, I'll be gone from Xinhua now. I'll still have two militia there, so I don't know. Maybe they're going to try and take one of my spots, hit the recruitment. You know, you never know. They got some options. They got some options. So that's it for the KMT. They get... Let's see, there's one for Yunnan, two for Guangdong, so that's three, two for Hunan. So they're still at five, and I believe they get their bonus of two, where the heck is it, do I have it down here? Yeah, two for the Burma Road, I think that's up here too. Yep, Burma Road's open. So, seven dollars. They'll collect seven for next turn. They save two, so they will have nine. KMT will have nine for next turn. Okay, USA. They have twelve dollars to spend. Uh, they're not going to spend anything. They're going to save it, and they'll collect eleven. So that'll be twenty-three. Let's do our tech rolls. Okay. We are going for, at a seven or higher, improved construction and amphibious doctrine. Then at an eight or higher, we're going to go for jet fighters, long-range aircraft, and large ship construction. And then at a nine or higher, we're going to go for uh, heavy strategic bombers and rockets. So, first off, we're going to roll the sevens. Let's see what we can get. A six and a five. Great start. Alrighty. Uh, the eights. <laughs> Wait, all these frickin' turrets of this to get none. Uh, we got one. We got rockets. <laughs> oh, great tech. I think it would have PPBE for me. Obviously, that wasn't a good idea to do my own. So, all right, stage one for strategic rockets. All that, oh, God, that was awful. Uh, they will collect their uh, $11. That'll give them $23 for next turn. I believe we're going to see some more fireworks in China. Uh, also, I believe we may be seeing some uh, thing going on over there in Switzerland this turn and on in France, and you never know where else. England, Russia, uh you can uh, USSR is not at income enough, but they've been uh they got a D six roll I believe coming this turn. We'll go into January nineteen thirty nine, and in January thirty nine, uh, they could sign the Molotov Ribbonov Pact, Siam Alliance. So, and they get a D six also for the U for the USSR. So, alrighty, we'll see what happens next turn. This is uh, Boston Bruce signing out, and I hope everyone has a great day.